Gemini search in particular showed a tendency to cite unpopular domains. Okay. So what do we do with that? There's also a little like, we think we're safe. And so we'd like to make it harder for those trying to compete with us to prove that they're safe. AI-powered search engines rely on less popular sources, researchers find. Oh, I'm going to... I'm going to take a look at this. The world has been aware of AI-powered search results. A preprint paper, okay, so this isn't peer-reviewed yet, characterizing web search in the age of generative AI. Researchers from Ruhr University in Bochum and the Max Planck Institute for Software Systems compared traditional link results from Google to its AI overviews and Gemini. Oh, it's Google to Google. It's looking at Gemini search results versus Google search engine results. Uh, test queries and found overall the sources cited in results from generative search tools tended to be from sites that were less popular than those that appeared in the top 10 of a traditional search sources cited by the engines were more likely than those linked to traditional search to fall outside both the top thousand and the top million tracked by trenco gemini search in particular showed a tendency to cite unpopular domains okay so what do we do with that these differences don't mean that generated results are worse. The researchers found that GPT-based searches were more likely to cite sources like corporate entities and encyclopedias for their information, while almost never citing social media websites. So if your first blanche was, oh, it's unpopular sites, I bet they're full of misinformation. No, it's unpopular, reliable information sources in a lot of cases. Now, I'll let you and others decide whether that makes it better or not. But it does show that they're, they're not just worse because it's AI. It's just different. And there could be ways in which it's better, and there could be ways in which it's worse. 